everyone, it's Elise from The Painted Brush & Co. I'm here today with this silky oak dresser that I'm about to finish. Um, so we have our flat 38 brush. This is um, slightly damp, not too wet, just a little bit damp. I like to work with a damp brush when I'm staining. I feel it gives me a nicer finish and it also allows me a little bit more open time with my stain. We're using Pure Eco Staining Glaze in the color Whisper. So this is the white. And I've got a little sample pot here that I'll be working from. So this sample pot is 50 mils. Just to give you an idea of the coverage as well. Always give your product a good stir or a good shake. So this is a white. So this will create a white washed finish. I've seen lots of questions. I've had lots of questions about white washing lately or lime, uh, liming white, I think it's called. Same finish. So you've got multiple options to create this finish, but I'm going to use uh, the stain and glaze in Whisper. So this is our stain and glaze. It looks like paint. Beautiful. So just want a little bit on our brush. So this is silky oak. It was originally bright red. I'm using the white because I want to dull that red and the yellow tones a little bit more. We've also got these two original patches. There used to be a mirror stand there, which are obviously gone. Um, so I want to blend this together a little bit and not make those stand out as much. And I want to remove the red and the yellow. So we've got our stain glaze. I've just grabbed the water bottle just in case I feel like I need a little bit of extra work time. It is quite warm in here today. Little bit on my brush. Nice, long, even strokes is key. You can wipe this on. I like to use a brush when staining because your timber can get quite coarse and it can get very hard to work with. So just a little bit on your brush at a time and if you slowly build up layers, you will produce a much, much nicer finish. And you can keep working this. The beauty with stain and glaze, because it is water-based, having a spray bottle and a stamp brush greatly improves your finish. So I'm just going to spray my bottle a little bit, my brush rather. And I'm just going to keep on working that in. Just like that. Because this soaks into your timber, it's not like paint uh, where you can very easily overwork it. You just got to keep on going until you're happy with it. Don't do what I just did. Make sure that you're sticking with the grain of the timber. It will produce a much nicer finish. When you go against the grain of the timber when you're sanding, you will see your brush, uh, when you're applying stain, rather, you will see your brush strokes a lot and you don't want to be seeing those. So I'm just going to adjust my bottle a little bit. And spray my surface. And smooth out those two little bits. So I've just got a normal spray bottle. And my brush is damp. Oops. Now you can, of course, um, decant a little bit of this into a bowl and um, add some water to it as well if you want it paler again. a lot more than what I needed so I'm going to spread it out and just to show you a little bit too much a little bit of a spray will help keep it active and then I can really keep spreading it out get your ends and your edges while you're there. If you get it all in one coat, it will look much more even. Don't do little bits at a time because you'll find you'll end up with a really uneven finish. Now this dries really, really fast as well. So you can stain 
You don't have to seal if you don't want to. I do like to seal, stick, seal, blah, blah, blah. I do like to seal after I finished. Um, I like to use either hemp finishing oil or some wax to give me a nice natural finish. And I'll show you that technique as well because there's a technique there that I love and I adore and I use it all the time. And I think everybody should be using it on their timber because it's just so nourishing, it's so hydrating. And the particular technique just gives you really, really beautiful feeling timber. Now that is beautiful. This is exactly what I want. So just here, I can see it's quite red still. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more. Probably more than what I wanted, but a little bit more through there. Just going to wet it a little bit and work it into the other sections. This is a great way to show you how you can continue to work the stain as you go. You can blend with this stain. You can layer it with the other colours. You can do a lot with this stain. It's very easy to work with because it is water-based. It's also no box, so it doesn't stink. You're not going to... I'm in my kitchen dining right now doesn't smell. I've got no qualms with it at all about using this in my home or around my children. So just like that. Try and finish with some nice long brush strokes. I'm just going to dampen my brush a bit and that's just going to help smooth out any bits that need a little bit. Just like that. Beautiful. Right, now I'm looking at this. I want a little bit more along here where it's really red. As this soaks in and dries, you'll get more of the true colour that it's going to be. And though it does look pretty true when it's got it on there, sometimes you do need to give it a few minutes to really soak in. And any of these really red bits, just going to apply a bit more. That's better. Beautiful. I'm really happy with this. I wanted this to be really soft. This is exactly what I've achieved. So I'm just going to run that along the front edge of this. And this is my flat 38 brush. You can find these on our website. I use this brush and my oval 50. These are my favorite brushes to use. Right now they are synthetic. They're Australian designed. They're owned by an Australian company as well. Um, so right along that edge. Oops. Try not to let it fly off and hit your piece. All the way along. Just make sure that's nice and even and anywhere where it's overlapping with your top, you don't have big build up. Along the edge of your piece. And you're done. This is such an easy way to lighten your timber, to remove a lot of that yellow and that red of your timber and give you a very soft finish that really fits in with any home. I have very red floorboards, very orange floorboards. Um, so a whitewashed piece of furniture looks better than what this would have if it was, if it was um, as it was, quite red. This blends in a lot more. It doesn't clash as much because of how soft it is. Beautiful. Done. I'm very happy with that. Once this is dry, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you my technique for applying wax or hemp finishing oil. And I've used, this was 50 mil and I've used about a quarter. So what's that? 10, 15 mil maybe? So not very much at all for the whole top of this. And this is just over a metre by oh, about four, maybe 500. So it's not very big, but it's a good size and it's a good way to show you how much or how far your stain can go. 
Thank you for watching and I will do another video.